Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is Samuel Pierce Davis again with the next in the series of uh, algorithmic patches in Max MSP. Now, before we saw this choose key and chord patch, where as we said would output a series of four chords and a key signature. Uh, now, this patch, which is just called chord, um, is uh, one that will then take that information and um, send it into a little sub patcher here. Um, which will generate a voicing for each particular chord. Now, so it will take the root of any given chord and then a, an octave above that, it will do a triad in one of any number of inversions. So even if there are multiple repetitions of the same chord in a four chord, se four chord sequence, um, you're likely to get different voicings each time it's played, so it keeps it a bit interesting. Uh, and this little bit over here uh, is essentially uh, running a series of semiquavers over a two-bar phrase uh, at 120 BPM. So it will actually play those chords out. Ver the, uh, the vertical position of the dots here indicates which of the four chords is going to be played. And I've set up in this col object here a number of different sample rhythms which the chords can then play. So in a second I'll turn this on and it's playing into my car plus uh, guitar synth and my bell synth just to get a couple of different ideas of the sounds and how it will how it will all sound when it's playing. So uh, here's a couple of examples and for this because the metro is quantized to note values you need to make sure that the global transport is actually active and turned on when you're running this else it just won't work. So let's just bang this and then it will output something. And here we go, so this is how it starts. I'll start running through the presets of the different rhythms as we go. And those are all the rhythms that I've programmed in at the moment, and as we go along we can program more in, uh, that's absolutely fine. There's potentially limitless um, variants that we can put in to keep it more interesting. So that's that would form the sort of the basis of um, a, a verse structure or a chorus, chorus structure, that then a melody would go over the top and then you'd have um, drum beats in the background. So it's just, a, just one component part of our ideal algorithmic composer.